Hi guys, welcome to part 3 of The Godly Wife. If you haven't seen parts 1 and 2, I strongly recommend that you watch them. If you're new, my name is Rochelle and I do lifestyle videos. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome. Don't forget to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to like, comment, to share and to subscribe. Um, Brenda, yes. question. Um, Brenda, yes. question. Right? So, some of us got married when we were sinners. We weren't always godly wives. Yes? Some of us were born and grown at church. So, it's it automatic to yeah. some extent. But what what about those relationships or those marriages where God definitely said no that person is not the person and then you still go ahead and then somewhere along the road um, this is your faith right two for those women that end up in abusive relationships, mm -hmm. um, weren't there signs? Is it that they ignored the signs or they weren't listening to what counsel they were getting from their elders? I don't know. For, for those relationships, um, to make a Definitely, because it started out in a way where they know, because as, as a woman, from the moment you meet somebody, there are always signs. There are always signs. And sometimes we mm -hmm. choose to look mm -hmm. over them and think that we can mm -hmm. change. But we cannot change anybody. We cannot. Yeah, only change. person we have that yeah. what to change is ourselves, right? Mm -hmm. So when mm -hmm. they overlook, when a woman overlooks, this situation, this abuse, this, um, then guess what? They are going to have that difficulty. Now, after you give your life to God and it is still happening, it is for you to still go to God and say, Lord, you know that you showed me the signs. We have to be honest to God. That's one of the things to me. <laughs> Lord, you, right. and you know, and I know that he was abusive from the beginning and I was being disobedient to my parents, my friends, when they told me not to marry him. But I still went ahead and do it anyway. Mm -hmm. No, God, you have to go help me because I don't know what to do. Right? <clears throat> and then you, you're going to have to listen to what the Holy Spirit is saying to you because guess what? If you walk away now from this marriage, you are no longer free to marry somebody else you know? You're no longer free to marry somebody else because guess what happened? We're really not supposed to be getting married to divorce because Jesus said it was, it's because of the hardness of one's heart why people divorce in the first place, right? So if it is that they realize that they can't live with it, but I still believe that you need the guidance of the Holy Spirit to tell you, what to do, what, where, how, and when to walk away. That abuse is not is 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 not acceptable. You're gonna have to try different means. One by getting counseling, seeking God's guidance, talking to your pastor. If you don't trust your pastor, you call somebody else, or go to family life ministries. They can assign you with somebody. But you have to find the different ways and means of trying to work it out. No, after all, and in of working that, it out, do you think that they should stay in the same space with that person that is abusing them? It all them? depends on how how um, the, because the, the abuse can either verbally or physical. Or physical. No, if it is physical, then I wouldn't agree i wouldn't say that they should stay in the same space because it's gonna be difficult and i think it is against the law for someone to be hitting somebody else right um 
But I be believe that counseling, they need to get counseling. And with this counseling, um, they will be able to work. It is either they work it out or they divorce. What do we do? What if the husband is possessive? Well, if he's possessive, well. But Brenda, guess. when you say walk away, what do you mean? Is it, is it, is it, what, get what, a what, divorce. Leave divorce. Leaving, break up. Get a divorce, right. But then, as I said, oh, you're saying um, there it should not with, be the first alternative. It, that, it right. should it's never be the first be alternative. Okay. It should okay. never be. It should never be the first alternative. Mm -hmm. How long do you think the first thing to do is with a person to suffer? Would that be normal or <laughs> no? But that's that's I, I, that I understand, Rush, but I really don't think that you can put a timing on it. You can't you put a. You, you have to know because guess yeah. what happened? The first sign of abuse, then you have to nip it in the bud. You have to do something about it. Mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. Start prayer about it. The first, very first time. Pray about it. Then after the prayer, you go and have the discussion with the person. A civil, dis a civil discussion. Mm -hmm. Respectfully. Mm -hmm. I respect you. I love you. Time and, and place as well. That's also important uh, for the discussion. However. however. Mm -hmm. and, and as I said earlier, that the bedtime is a good time to have the discussion. However, I don't appreciate it. Right? It mm -hmm. happened the second time. You go pray about it again and talk to him. Honey, guess what happened? We're going to have to get some counseling. We cannot continue the same way. Yeah. But it, you, you, you can't let it happen one, two, three, four times, and then after that, you start ball on the place. And, no, you have to nip it in the bud from early. I, I believe, I believe that the first time it happens, yeah. counseling should be the first. The first approach, yeah, I pray about it, but I believe that counseling should be applied as well. Mm -hmm. If it happens the second time, mm -hmm. may I report it to the police, right? Um, not because we are godly wise, doesn't mean that we should sit around in discomfort. I don't believe that, right? Abuse is abuse, mm -hmm. whether you're married, divorced, um. Christian or non-Christian. Abuse is abuse. Yeah. And I don't tolerate abuse. No time at all. It no matter. In none of the all of them. I don't <laughs> tolerate it. I am, I'm zero tolerant for it. Right? How you choose your end result, that, that's up to you. Mm -hmm. Right? If it is that after you recommend him to counseling and him um, acknowledge that this is a thing, <laughs> Or it's becoming a thing, and I'm saying, all right, babes, I'm gonna do some counseling and whatever, and go through the steps and all of that. And you see where he's making an effort, then that's up to you to determine whether you want to stay in that relationship, whether you want to separate, or you want to divorce. That's up to you. I, I don't believe divorce should be the first either, but at the same time, sometimes you have to take space in order to deal with these things because being under the same roof might cause someone to lose their life. Was it going to be a premeditated or is an all lick, but somebody might end up lose their life and nobody wants to go to jail for the rest of their life. But we have to, while applying the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit also gives us wisdom knowledge and understanding and those are the things that we pray for mm -hmm. when we when we're reading the scripture or when we're about to read the scripture right. when we have concluded reading the scripture these are some of the things that we pray for an open mind wisdom knowledge and understanding to be able to understand the scripture to interpret the scripture and to be able to apply the scripture to our lives mm -hmm. right and in in praying about these things we would want to hope that the Holy Spirit would guide us into all truth, mm -hmm. right? True. And in guiding us into all truth, I don't believe that the Holy Spirit will guide us into staying into something like that. As I said, whether you're going to go live with Rochelle until it's sorted out, 
But I, I don't recommend that you sit there one time, two time. First time you do it, I'm not going to sit down with it. First time you do it, it's a tendency that you have. And whatever I did or whatever is happening has triggered that triggered in it. you. Mm -hmm. And who to tell? Say so it never triggered already, but because of where you were, you weren't able to act upon it, or you found another channel to let it out. Whether you go exercise or you got a gym and let off some steam or whatever. But this time around, um, you found it to be over the top. So therefore you had to do whatever you did. No, I'm not mm -hmm. tolerate that. And I wouldn't encourage anybody at all to tolerate that. While we're Christians and we're godly wives, filled with the Holy Spirit, baptized, water baptized, saved and sanctified, we should also apply wisdom. Mm -hmm. Let the wisdom of the Lord prevail and of the Holy Spirit be our guidance. Mm -hmm. as, I said, as I said before, some people's test and trial it's different. Everybody have them own mm -hmm. demons where they have to conquer. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean that you got to sit in it mm -hmm. and go through it day in, day out. Some people, they don't have, a, have an alternative. They can't look left or right. Mm -hmm. And that's really sad that they don't have anybody in their corner. But mm -hmm. for those persons that are able to get help, Run for your life and get that help. True. Thank you. Thank you. So in a nutshell, we're saying divorce should not should not be the first option. Let's try oh. counseling, yeah. talking to somebody. If we need to get a break, yep. get a break, recoup, yep. and come back. And come back. Right. Ask okay. option. Um, we're never married for divorce. That's right. True. True, 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 true. Um, next question is, and, and that's why, Rush, um, I believe that um, there are a lot of young women in church today who are looking for husbands, mm -hmm. and and as as maybe I don't want to say we are older, as more You're mature, looking young or, and nice. <laughs> <laughs> as mature um as mature ladies in the church um it's important that we try to provide guidance for them because sometimes you might see them and they said they find somebody and they're madly in love they totally forget about the other things um i, I listened to a session with Christopher dollar um one of the time and one of the things he said when you find somebody ask all the questions in the book. No, you are probably going to get some answers and that may be wrong, but ask them again. Go back another time. Spend mm. all the time to ask all the questions. Um, mm -hmm. What is it that they like? If you get angry, what do you normally do? Um, what do you, do you like when your wife do this? Do you like, ask them all these questions mm -hmm. and these are the things that will help you to determine whether or not this person is the right person for you yeah. because I know mm -hmm. that I can't take lick. So me now I'm going to marry to somebody who has lick me. First of all, we know one time my father ever beat me. One time. <laughs> well, sorry. I never beat me, no. Me. Okay, I'm a bit very sorry. So I'm going to say, why? <laughs> why? Why? Was... No, do you need to? Mm -mm. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, um, Brenda, to your point. point. Go ahead, Sabrina. Yeah, but in reality, you know, Yes. A lot there there is a lot of godly wives in situation like this where yeah. there, there's physical and also verbal abuse. Verbal. Yeah. Me, this is this is my person. If you will abuse me, what will you do? Because remember, this is the woman that you promised to love and, and to cherish, cherish all of your cherish. life. So when the verbal yes. abuse come, what else will you yeah. do? Mm -hmm. So the moment, matter of fact, you have to nip from, because most of the times, you know, before the physical, you know, there's a verbal. Verbal, yeah. Right? So and the, the, the sign about it is that 
all of us have to all of to all of us have to answer to God because there is a lot of times where there are hurting mm-hmm. persons mm-hmm. in our churches and they're afraid to speak mm-hmm. to anyone because no one confidential. Yeah. True. Yeah. Because if you to you Russian and Kimika a good friend and your office to Kimika. Yeah. Why? Yeah, why? Why? He said to me, me probably have about it all along and go and go about her Russia lapsa and Russia make flesh ruler and go laba laba to Kimika. Mm-hmm. And rather than that, there are a lot of godly wives dying silently in the church. Mm-hmm. And me wow. believe so if we have Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit must somebody in the church who got talk to the That's brother, right. the brother, the sister they about their marriage. Right. Yep, definitely. Yeah, so there's a lot of we as Christians we have to answer to God for because me mm-hmm. have issues and best believe it. A lot of times it's not persons in the church me talk to or my own friends. Yeah. Come and know when me and them level I they say it then and yeah. me know say when me and them level them the brain and so and so and then go you know in a medical closet and lock where I must say boy God me want your filter with the conversation because a lot of times they will talk to you from a from a perspective. perspective. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Perspective, but at, at the same time then we give you like some practical reasoning. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's very so that's the next thing now. If if I'm a person where somebody said them can't say nothing to me because me and Rochelle are friend and I go talk to Rochelle, me have to go repent right now. Mm-hmm. That's the next thing, because as godly wives, we're supposed to, the Bible tell we you know so we're supposed to teach and nurture yeah. the, 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 the well, I'm not that old. Or I'm not <laughs> old any at all. Because you know, going to church, age one, mm-hmm. I got married. And rather than I have some like persons will come uh, and nurture me, but just coming at this thing and just coming at Christianity, just coming at this marriage thing. Mm-hmm. I mean, never really have nobody for nurture me. I got me up for life and I watch a movie or talk to somebody. But in fact, my church never nurture me in other mm-hmm. way. Eh? Rather than them beat you down for say, you're just 21 and you get married. Mm-hmm. Nah, don't worry. I'll water for <laughs> me. Island water don't mix. <laughs> and it's over 10 years of island water mm-hmm. mix. You understand? So at the same time, we as godly wives, we need to go to God again because we should be our sister's yeah, keeper. True. Yeah. True, yeah. true, true, true. Well, so true. As a godly wife, true. has satisfying your husband's sexual needs ever been an issue? And then they have put it in the context of being a godly wife, but not feeling comfortable doing certain things or position that your husband requires. How do you handle that? Well, Rochelle, did you send a message that was sending it to me? <laughs> yes, it was. Why can we take the floor? <laughs> no, hold on. Ask the question again. <laughs> Ask the question again. As a godly wife? How do you handle mm-hmm. your husband wanting you to perform certain sexual pleasures, positions? How you handle that? It basically asks. Are you because you need to satisfy your husband's sex? All right. My take on this <laughs> what? As long as my husband and I are comfortable in whatever we do, I don't think it's anybody's business. That's- so yeah, right. but that is both of you. But that is both of you. But this person is one person however, If, However, if it is that he desires to do something else other than what we're doing, and I feel uncomfortable about it, then I'm going to have to talk to him. Right? The did. That's right. I don't think I feel... Brenda, it's on low. No, I'm saying you have to... I would have to say to him that, honey... I really feel uncomfortable doing this, you know? But it's a discussion. A lot of things in our marriages that we face, it's all about a discussion. Yeah. And I know that sometimes the other party might try to convince us and say, boy, I do this, no one do, or no one try this, or no one try. Listen, remember that we're a couple. 
we are one, right? Mm -hmm. We are one. So we're supposed to be in agreement. No, there are persons who sometimes they ask you, um, for husband and wives, when they're going to be making love or whatever the case may be, when you pray and, and do these things, or you know, they listen to love songs or or no, songs and, 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 to and you. Things. Well, guess what? You, you cannot <laughs> listen to any gospel song at that particular time. <laughs> Right? Well, crazy. That's the, this is not just the time. However, 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 you can whisper a word of prayer and say, Lord, help me with this. Help us that we, tonight may be one of the best nights ever. Right? Listen, he may want X and you may not be comfortable with doing X, but you give him Y and give it to him very good. So oh, that him take it, take him mind <laughs> off of, off of X. <laughs> That's right. Good answer, That's right. good answer. But it's true though, it's all about communicating, talking about things. Yeah. yeah. If you're not comfortable, it's not comfortable. True. Mm -hmm. All right. The Bible does say marriage is honorable. Mm -hmm. The bed is on the file. Yeah. So where you and your spouse want to do, put a business. Put a business. Put a business. Put a business. That's right. Yep. However, there are there are some ministers. I don't know. You probably see them on Facebook and other places um, yes, where they are saying that it is wrong to do certain things. Um, uh, certain positions. Certain positions you're not supposed to do. But but I think it it all depends on what you and your spouse is comfortable doing. If it is if it is that both of you do something and you're convicted, then fine. As once mm -hmm. conviction comes, yeah. then you deal with it. it. If you don't, yeah, you if you don't have a conviction, you don't go on and down yourself. I'm sorry. That's Good all. answer. Man. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Okay, guys, that's a wrap for part three. See you next week for part four, where it only gets better. Don't forget to like, comment, to share, and to subscribe.